Hey guys, Riz here, another Resident Evil 2 Remake Achievement Guide for you. We're going to be going with Spare Time Achievement, which is on clear side only for defeating Stage 4G with 4 plus minutes left until detonation. So once you start off, you're just going to basically run past everything until you get to this little segment where you got to wait for Sherry. So with that in mind, run past these plant zombies, make your way through the door in the back, and hopefully that, you know, these doors aren't, you know, being stupid on you like they are for me. Go ahead and grab that herb if you feel like you need it. Head on down the ladder. You'll get this little segment down here where you have to wait for Sherry to unlock the door for you. And you'll be getting attacked by some plant zombies, so make sure you just go ahead and take them out. Hopefully you stocked up on some ammo. But make sure you come over here and try the door first to initiate the little trigger cutscene. So that way she can go around to the side and unlock it. There's some ammo over here if you want that for handgun. So if you got plenty of hanging ammo, I would recommend just sitting here slowly taking your time, popping those little cysts on them, and making sure that you you want to conserve your ammo for the boss if you think you're gonna use a pistol. So go ahead and just kill him. Not much you can really do here, but wait for Sherry. If you get attacked by another one, if you feel like you want to kill it, you can. But I wouldn't recommend wasting too much time on it because she'll unlock the door before it even gets to you. So. Just kind of shoot at someone with sis on it to stall for a little bit so that way it stays in the back and doesn't come near you. I end up saying forget it and then running through the door. So you're just going to end up following the path. There isn't anything along the way, so I won't be worrying about that too much. You shouldn't need anything anyway. As long as you stocked up on some ammo and healing supplies, it's about the only zombie that's going to get in your path here. Just take him out, a couple headshots. Just head down this nice long hallway here. So once you get into the train room, make sure you didn't overstock your inventory like I did. I kind of went overboard ammo. Um, you're going to need it for the uh, power supply. So head around the other side of the train, head inside of it. You're going to need to grab the little power supply box thing, which takes up two spots. Like I said, I kind of overdid the... Uh, stocking up on everything so I'm gonna have to get rid of a couple of pistol ammo for pistol because uh, I didn't know what I was thinking at the time I wanted to keep the M79 ammo which is possible because that definitely comes in handy um, along with the voltage gun and I don't think I end up using it but it is handy so make sure you have room for that You go ahead and skip this cutscene if you want. So head on back outside the train to the left of that door here. Head into the room right in front of it. And you're just going to basically use that power supply thing and plug it in here in the console. Then go to the right hand side and you're going to grab the minigun. This is what's going to be key to getting your time. So make sure you have room for that as well. Grab that, head on back out. You have another little cutscene to skip. You'll be fighting G. So let's go ahead. Use your SMG or whatever you want. Minigun if you want right away. Just start unloading on the middle of them. So you'll be vulnerable the entire time. So make sure you just keep unloading on him. I use the M79 with acid rounds. Throwing some grenades at him to get him weaker. I stocked up on the grenades on purpose. So if you want some grenades, go ahead and lob all of your grenades at him once. Get that out of the way. And, um... I don't know if shooting the wall with that worked or not. I tried. He ended up running away. Try not to let him get away. It definitely wastes too much time for obviously your purpose for getting achievement. So just try to unload him as much as you can. Keep him in your area. Now I didn't know this, so you have to go on the other side of the train because he wasn't coming over for some reason. I thought he would come back over and attack me the most boss would, but for some reason either he would just be slow. Or he was being stuck. I'm not sure which it was. Make sure you go around this that train if you wait over here too long. You're obviously going to be killing your time for your achievement. So basically, let's go ahead and other side of the train. This happens to you. And make sure you just keep that minigun on him. It's kind of hard to dodge some of these attacks with this slow ass minigun in your hands. So be aware of that. You probably will get knocked down several times. So all I really got to do is just keep unloading with the minigun in the center of his chest. Use all of your grenades on him if you brought grenades. M79 and use that shotgun if you have it too. That'd be pretty handy to uh, when he's down here next to you, just shoot with it and hold the voltage all the way. 
So make sure you learn jump lane like that. So make sure you have some healing items with you in case you get hit a couple times. So it's probably gonna happen with a minigun being as slow moving as it is. So as long as you just keep unloading on him with grenades, M79, and minigun, you should have your achievement no problem. Just make sure you keep popping all the eyes in the center of his face. Or body or torso, whatever that is. So once you keep being persistent enough, make sure you don't take too much of a break in there and you should get your achievement no problem when you beat him in time. So Alright guys, that's to do it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I'll have more Resident Evil video guides for you coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.